Ancient China is often remembered for its beautiful culture, innovations, and influential dynasties. The Great Wall, silk production, Chinese medicine, and the inventions of gunpowder and paper are just a few examples of the country's rich history. However, beneath this impressive surface lies a darker side of ancient China, often overlooked in mainstream history. This video uncovers some of the terrible aspects of life during ancient China that many may not know. The Brutality of Legalism One of the most influential periods in ancient China was during the Qin Dynasty, which ruled from 221 to 206 BCE. The first emperor, Qin Shi Huang, is credited with unifying China, but he did so at a terrible cost. His rule was based on the philosophy of legalism, which believed that humans were inherently evil and needed strict laws to maintain order. Under this system, punishments were severe and often brutal. Even minor crimes could result in extreme punishments such as mutilation, hard labor, or execution. One of the most infamous examples was the mass burial of scholars. Qin Shi Huang, in an effort to control knowledge and thought, ordered the execution of hundreds of scholars and burned countless books. Anyone who opposed his rule or questioned his policies faced harsh penalties. The building of the Great Wall, a death sentence. The Great Wall of China is one of the country's most iconic landmarks. It stretches for thousands of miles, protecting China from invasions. However, the construction of the Great Wall came at a great human cost. It was built over centuries, with some of the earliest sections being constructed during the Qin Dynasty. The workers were primarily peasants, prisoners, and soldiers, many of whom were forced into labor against their will. Conditions were harsh, with workers often facing extreme cold, hunger, and exhaustion. Thousands of laborers died during the construction of the wall, and their bodies were said to have been buried within the wall itself. For many, being sent to work on the Great Wall was a death sentence. Foot binding, a lifetime of pain. One of the darkest practices in ancient China, particularly during the Song Dynasty, 9601279 AD, was foot binding. This practice involved tightly wrapping the feet of young girls to prevent them from growing normally. The goal was to create small, beautiful feet, known as lotus feet, which were considered a mark of beauty and social status. Girls as young as five or six were subjected to this painful process, which involved breaking the bones in their feet and binding them tightly. The process could take years, and many girls suffered infections, gangrene, and lifelong disabilities as a result. Despite the pain and suffering, foot binding persisted for centuries, largely because women with small feet were more likely to marry into wealthy families. Human Sacrifice in Early Dynasties While human sacrifice was not widespread throughout all of ancient China, it did exist in some early dynasties, particularly the Shang Dynasty, 1600-1046 BC. Archaeological evidence has revealed that the Shang rulers practiced human sacrifice as part of their religious rituals. These sacrifices were often made to honor the ancestors or to appease the gods. Victims included prisoners of war, slaves, and sometimes even members of the royal family. They were often buried alive or killed in ritualistic ceremonies. The discovery of mass graves filled with human bones near ancient temples and palaces provides a chilling reminder of these brutal practices. The Oppression of Peasants The majority of the population in ancient China were peasants, and life for them was far from easy. While the upper class enjoyed wealth and luxury, peasants lived in poverty, working the land to produce food for the entire nation. They had little control over their own lives, and most of what they produced was taken away as taxes or rent. During times of famine, drought, or war, peasants suffered the most. They were often forced to serve in the military or work on massive construction projects like the Great Wall. If they resisted or failed to meet their quotas, they faced harsh punishments, 
including beatings, imprisonment, or death. The gap between the rich and poor in ancient China was vast, and the peasants bore the brunt of the hardships. Infanticide and gender discrimination. Infanticide, particularly the killing of female infants, was a common practice in ancient China. In a society that valued sons over daughters, many families chose to kill or abandon their newborn daughters in favor of having a male heir. This practice was particularly prevalent among poor families who could not afford to raise multiple children. The preference for male children stemmed from the belief that sons were responsible for carrying on the family name and taking care of their parents in old age. Daughters, on the other hand, were seen as a financial burden since they would eventually marry and become part of another family. As a result, many girls were neglected, abandoned. Or killed shortly after birth. Corruption and the rise of eunuchs. In ancient China, eunuchs played a significant role in the imperial court, particularly during the later dynasties. Eunuchs were castrated men who served in the royal palace, often holding positions of great power and influence. They were trusted by the emperors because they could not produce offspring and therefore posed no threat to the royal family. However, The power held by eunuchs often led to corruption. Many eunuchs used their positions to amass wealth and manipulate the emperor for their own gain. They became notorious for their greed, corruption, and abuse of power, contributing to the downfall of several dynasties. Their influence over the emperor often led to poor governance and widespread corruption throughout the empire. The Warring States period, a time of chaos. Before the unification of China under the Qin Dynasty, the country was divided into several warring states. This period, known as the Warring States period (475 to 221 BC), was marked by constant warfare, violence, and political instability. The various states fought for power and territory, leading to widespread suffering among the population. Civilians were often caught in the crossfire. With villages and cities being pillaged and destroyed, soldiers were forced to fight in brutal battles, and those who were captured were often executed or enslaved. The Warring States period was a time of great chaos and suffering for the people of China, as rival states vied for control of the country. The Terracotta Army, a tomb for the dead, one of the most famous archaeological discoveries in China, is the Terracotta Army. A vast collection of life-size clay soldiers buried with Emperor Qin Shi Huang. The Terracotta Army was created to protect the emperor in the afterlife, and it is estimated that over 700,000 workers were involved in its construction. However, the creation of this massive tomb complex came at a great human cost. Many of the workers who built the Terracotta Army were buried alive with the emperor. Either to serve him in the afterlife or to prevent them from revealing the tomb's secrets, the Terracotta Army, while a marvel of ancient engineering, is also a reminder of the ruthless nature of Qin Shi Huang's rule. Empress Wu Zetian's ruthless rise to power. Empress Wu Zetian, the only woman to ever rule as emperor in China's history, is often remembered for her intelligence and political skill. However, Her rise to power was marked by ruthless tactics and brutal methods. She ruled during the Tang Dynasty (618 to 907 A.D.), and her ascent to the throne involved the elimination of many rivals. Wu Zetian was known for using assassination, torture, and exile to remove anyone who stood in her way, including members of her own family. She established a secret police force that monitored her opponents, and many officials were executed or imprisoned based on false charges. While she is celebrated as a powerful female ruler, her reign was also marked by fear and repression. Ancient China is a civilization filled with incredible achievements and innovations, but it also has a dark side that is often overlooked. From brutal legal systems and forced labor to gender discrimination and human sacrifice, the darker aspects of ancient China 
remind us that history is not always as glamorous as it seems. By understanding these lesser-known facts, we gain a fuller picture of the complexities and hardships faced by the people of ancient China. Despite these challenges, the country continued to thrive, shaping much of the world as we know it today.